Hi everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how to implement a drag and drop feature in your page. That is, you upload file by dragging. I will start by creating a same project and I name it drag and drop. And uh, I'm going to open this with ID. I'll open with PHP Storm. You can use an ID. Inside this project directory, I'm going to create a, an HTML file. And I name is index.php. Index.html. I can check for my website if it's working now because it's working now I'm going to create a form in my web in my web page and in this form I put the action is this hash and I will define an ink type for multiple form that I put a file input type and I'm going to use Tailwind CSS. You can use any style sheet or any stylish framework like Bootstrap. In this video, I will show you how to use Tailwind CSS. And you can see now Tailwind CSS is working. And I created the video on how to use Tailwind CSS in your page by either using current Tailwind network or by installing in your file system so that you use offline and in the form here I'll put the label for a file input type and in this label we are going to use this tab to drag and drop a file and in this tab it is a drag area as I put an upload button I will style my form with tailwind CSS This tailwind CSS is best and simple to use. You can learn from my videos. You can see now if I drag, it's not working. It, op it is open a default. And the input type I hide them because you're not going to use it if we click on the label it open a, a file select but if you select the file nothing happened so what you're going to do now is to control the drag and drop events and how you're going to control is by javascript I'll insert here a JavaScript before the crossing tag of a bot. And we are going to control the drug events in the label tag. And in this label element, we control three events if you try to drag now it is open the default we don't want this 
you want to the events that we control in the lab element are the drag drag over and drop event and in this event both of this event you have to prevent the default for the events we have to add additional events for the input type of the file that is when a file is dropped in the dropping area the input type of a file will contain a value and this value will be used to upload to the server and you can code whatever you want it's up to you In both of these events, you have to prevent defaults. Don't hold for the source code because the link for the source code I provided in the description, or you can find in my blog. The link for my blog is in the description or in my channel. You can see now. We drag the file is and the default is not working but some errors need to be modified that is you want when we drag a file the file name will appear at the tracking area and I remove this art and there is an error before this art that's why we don't see an art. I put an art in order to check if the code have been run. Now I have removed the art. You can see now if we drag. Appearing. We have to remove an art. No, because it is working now, we have to add some features like an icon in the tracking area. This is will be an upload icon, and this is from font also. It's not working because we have not added the link for the scripts. We have to search for font also. You can search from the official website, or you can find it in the W series schools. Copy this link and put before the cross and duck of the head. If you refresh, you can see now the font has have been appeared. And the videos on how to use font also icons is in my channel. You can check, you can search for this video. Uh, starting my icon to appear to the center. You can use and icon as you want thanks for watching my friends don't forget